Imagine if you've been told all your life that um, the reason that there aren't more blacks or Latinos in orchestras is that they're just not out there. A lot of people will say, oh, it must be tough. You're going into inner city environments with classical music. These kids don't want to have anything to do with that. There is a thought that urban kids just want to go like this and listen to rap. <laughs> but um, obviously, that has never been the case. It's not an exclusionary genre of music. You, you can love this and love hip hop, and you can love this and love other forms of music. But there's something in it for everyone if you're exposed to it. When you strip away this veneer that we all too often put on classical music, you're left with the pure art. And especially young people respond to that. It literally resonates within them. Well, I'm in my office at Burton Memorial Tower, and this young man comes in. We sit down, and out of his mouth comes a big, bold vision. I am blown away, because what this guy is imagining is the transforming of American orchestras. Well, I think early on, it wasn't just a, a good idea. In other words, that this is a problem that has been intractable in our field for many, many years. And beyond that, I, I kind of, I didn't just have a sense like, oh, let's just have diversity and that would be great. I did have very specific ideas on a way in which we could address the diversity. It goes in the face of what everybody was saying, is that the reason you don't have more blacks in the orchestra is that you're, they're just not out there. And here was a kid that said, they're out there, I'm gonna prove it. It's nice to have an idea, uh, but, uh, but you have to be able to back it up with the thought and the preparation that you've laid out. And then you see the character of the person. You see in his soul, I've been there. I don't like what I see, and I want to change the world. I found that irresistible. Aaron is passionate. Um, he's extremely dedicated. Um, he's a cheerleader. Most artistic people are not organized, <laughs> um, and most very organized and regimented people are very artistic, so it's rare to find a person who is a combination and has strong skills on both sides, which is probably one of the big reasons why this organization has seen so much success. Well, we are the national organization focused on diversity, not just in classical music, but in the arts overall. Our programming literally puts an instrument in the hands of young kids for the very first time, all the way up through to helping develop professional careers. What Sings is doing makes the community feel more inclusive in the sense that there isn't any restriction on what kids are exposed to or what they can do. What I think is great is that Sings makes it free and available to a lot of children and families. Um, for a lot of children, um, you know, it's sports. Here's a different avenue for them, and it's about exposure. So when we give a young person the opportunity to be exposed to this art form, and then the opportunity to actually train and learn how to use this art as a way to communicate with others, we see it transform their lives. If you've ever been to any of the Sphinx events and you see these kids sitting in the audience, what you see are very well-mannered, well-behaved um, people, young people. And when you're in that moment of an incredible artistic performance, inclusiveness is by default inherent in that experience. You sit next to, you sit across from people from different backgrounds, but yet you share this similar human experience. And I know that for the competitors, it's really fun for them to actually be in an orchestra where it's a lot of people like them. There's a little bit of a different soulful element that runs through it. So I wanted to make sure that we developed a structure where everybody literally wins. And we do that by enabling all of our semifinalists to receive full scholarships. But the amazing thing is, because we have this environment that has a sense of a collective ascension of all of us, they have spontaneously and un, uh, you know, encouraged by us, have group hugs. And I have no idea what they're saying. I know no one likes to lose, 
but I think it's easier to lose when you feel like you're amongst friends. <laughs> it also tells you the quality of character of these students. It tells you, um, you know, how they were raised, frankly, because you're not hoping that, you know, that your win means somebody else's failure. Because there is this mutual respect and they know that no matter what happens there, they will continue on as musicians together. Thank you.